Hi everyone, I am Fadish Hadi, nurse educator. In this video, we'll speak about face mask and the nasopharyngeal or pharyngeal swab for COVID-19 specimen and the proper way of hand hygiene. WHO recommends some steps to do the hand hygiene. Here we put colored uh, alcohol and we are using like regular way how many people actually using this way and uh, we find that the alcohol did not reach to the all area of the hand. There is some area did not covered by alcohol. Now, in the other hand, we use the steps which is recommended by the WHO and the result shows that the alcohol reached to the all area of the hands. So, in, in these two videos, we combine both of them together in the right, the proper way as per WHO recommendations and the left one, the regular way of hand hygiene. Now, they took the uh, almost the same amount of alcohol, the same duration, which is around 20 seconds, but the result shows a uh, like significant difference between uh, both methods. So let's start by put sufficient amount of alcohol, rub hands palm to palm, then right palm over left dorsum with interlaced fingers and vice versa. Palm to palm with fingers interlaced, back of fingers to opposing palms of fingers interlocked. Then rotational rubbing of left thumb closed in the right palm and vice versa. Then rotation uh, rubbing uh, backward and forward closed fingers, your hands safe. Using face mask, not something new. It has been used more than 100 years back. Now the recommendation should be used by the sick people or who is taking care of sick people. Face mask has two colors. All the time, the colored one should be outside. The white one should be inside. Even in the box, the color is out. So you will take it, you will put in your nose and mouth. This uh, face mask, actually, I cannot compare it with the surgical mask because if we look to the, like, what's the component, it has three layers and the uh, metal part. The metal will help us uh, to adjust the face mask to enhance the uh, ceiling. So um, the th three parts are uh, the outer side, outermost side, which will uh, protect us from the droplet. Here I just like put some water uh, on that um, part, so it's trapped the water there. And the inner side, which can uh, absorb the moist, and the uh, mid in the middle, that one, the actual filter. Now one of the important things we have to avoid is touching the face mask. But in case that we touch it to adjust it, we have to do hand hygiene immediately. Even when we are removing the face mask, we are not putting our hand on the outer side. We are using the straps, and it should all the time cover our nose and mouth. To test COVID-19, CDC recommend to take swabs from nasopharyngeal and oropharyngeal. So this is the nose. If we go inside deep, we will find the nasopharyngeal, and this is the oropharyngeal. There is actually in the kit two plastic sticks. One of them is rigid, used for oropharyngeal. The other one is flexible, used for the nasopharyngeal. So we will explain to the patient, we will prepare the virus media, and we will wear the PPE and N95. Then we will measure the distance between the nose and the ear loop. So the half of this distance will enable us to go to the uh, nasopharyngeal. So I will go inside until I reach to the uh, nasopharyngeal. Keep it to absorb more secretions, then rotate, then take it outside. Then we will put it in the uh, virus media. In the sticks, uh, there is actually um, like pr pr broken area where you can break the uh, stick, red one. So to opposite to my side, I will uh, break it. Then I will uh, cover the tube. You can use the tongue depressor to avoid the tongue until reach to the oropharyngeal, then several times rotation to make sure the swab absorb good amount of secretions. Then we will put it in the uh, tube. There is actually in the breaking area. You can uh, break it to the opposite side. Then you will close it uh, securely. Both of the nasopharyngeal or oropharyngeal in the same tube. You can use the parafilm to make sure that there is no leaking from the sample. The sample should be kept between 2 Celsius to 8 Celsius. Here we are using the ice chips. We are not putting the sample directly to the ice. It's in the, se in the second bucket. Make sure that we are labeling the uh, sample and we will send it to the lab. Thank you so much.